If you're looking for the best running shoes, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38. If you're a fan of the swoosh, choosing a pair of the best Nike running shoes can be a tricky choice. While we're a huge fan of the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next% percent for race day, we know not every runner wants to race, which is why the Pegasus 38 sneaked into the top spot here. It was a close call between this and the Nike Invincible Run, which is also a brilliant everyday shoe. But when it comes down to it, the Pegasus is just more versatile. It's got a good amount of React foam in the midsole for a lightweight, snappy feel underfoot, without being overly springy and leaving you feeling unstable on the run. For a shoe to be on its 38th iteration, it must be doing something right, and with the Pegasus, you're buying reliability. The 10 drop means you won't feel the ground underneath your feet too much, but equally, you won't feel like you're running in platforms. The cushion tongue won't cause uncomfortable hot spots or blisters, and the forefoot of the shoe is high and wide so prevent your toes from rubbing. The downside with the Pegasus is that some speedier runners might find it a little mouth for tempo sessions and that old-school Pegasus fans might not love the introduction of the racked foam into the shoe. But if you don't fall into either category, it's well worth the investment. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Hoka 1-1 Rinkin 3. It goes without saying, you don't have to own multiple pairs of running shoes to be a runner. While some people might invest in multiple pairs for different sessions, if you're new to running or are on a budget, you'll still be able to build fitness and train for races with only one pair in your closet. Plus, if you're looking for that one pair, the Hoka 1 1 Rinkin 3 is a brilliant shoe to invest in. A seriously versatile shoe, the Rinkin 3 is lightweight enough to wear on faster sessions, but the Eva midsole is cushioned enough to run for miles should you want to. The third iteration of the Rinkin is lighter and more breathable than previous versions, while still having the rocker geometry that rolls the foot forward for a faster, spring your toe off. At $115, it's also much more affordable than other running shoes on this list. The only downsides we could find here were that the Eva midsole isn't the plushest, and if you're looking for the classic Hoka cushion, you might find it a little on the harder side. That said, if you're looking for an everyday running shoe that's snappier than say, the Nike Pegasus or Ghost 14, this is a brilliant choice. The number 3 position is held by Brooks Glycerin 19. The Glycerin is one of the most popular running shoes around, and for good reason. The Glycerin contains Brooks DNA loft cushioning which is designed to be soft and plush underfoot and the 19th iteration of the shoe contains more foam than ever before. This shoe is extremely comfortable and is often a popular choice for beginners and marathon runners alike. Yet don't let all this talk of soft foam deceive you. The glycerin is still snappy when it needs to be and can pick up the pace if you want to push. It's a brilliant all-rounder and it is really designed for comfortable running. Available in a number of different colorways, the glycerin looks good too, hence its wide-ranging appeal with runners of all ages and abilities. The main downside here is that the glycerin isn't the fastest or lightest shoe on this list, so if you're looking to run a personal best, you might want a snappier shoe. That said, if your goal is to get going or get around the course, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more comfortable shoe to do this in. Next at number 4, we have Brooks Ghost 14. It's a long-running myth in the shoe world that men's and women's running shoes are just different colors. The differences might not be obvious to the naked eye, but women's shoes are designed for a woman's foot, which is often smaller and narrower than a man's. If we look at Brooks as an example, the standard size for women is a B width, where is the standard for men as a D? The Ghost 14 is a brilliant shoe for all genders, but we've given it the top spot for women here because of tweaks in the fitting to make it extremely comfortable, even on testers with higher arches. Brooks running shoes are known for being plush and comfortable, and the Ghost 14 ticks those boxes, especially on long runs. The Ghost 14 is also available in narrow, regular, wide, and extra wide widths, which makes finding the perfect fit even easier. Like the Glycerin 19, the Ghost 14 uses Brooks DNA loft cushioning for a plush underfoot experience, but the Ghost is slightly firmer, making it better suited for shorter, faster running than the Glycerin. The Ghost is also $20 cheaper than the Glycerin, making it slightly more affordable. 
The number 5 position is held by 6 Gel Kano 28. If you're looking for a classic stability shoe, you absolutely can't go wrong with the A6 Gel Kano, designed for overpronators, runners whose feet collapse inwards when they run. The Gel Kano has a stiff medial post that runs along the inside of the shoe to provide stability, as well as extra cushioning in the midsole to provide more arch support. The 28th version of the Kano is just as reliable as ever, but 6 has added gender-specific structural differences for more personalized support, as well as their FF Blast Mid Foam for a smoother, snappier toe-off. Where previous versions of the Kano felt heavy and cumbersome, this is a brilliantly responsive shoe that suits all distances. It goes without saying not every runner will need this structured support in their shoe, so it's a good idea to get your gait checked professionally at a running shop before investing. A6 also make a light version of the Kano for runners who only pronate slightly or just need a little extra stability in the final miles of a race. The number 6 position is dominated by Adidas Ultra Boost 22. When Adidas released its first Ultra Boost in February 2015, the running world went mad for the bouncy boost foam, which really did feel exciting underfoot. Seven years later, the Ultra Boost is still one of Adidas' most popular running shoes, and it's easy to see why. It's a wonderfully comfortable shoe that looks great and feels great underfoot. The Ultra Boost 22 has been designed by an all-female design team for female runners. And it is used scans from 1.2 million female feet to redesign its Ultra Boost 21, giving the Ultra Boost 22 a narrower heel, a lower in step, and an S-curve heel to allow the Achilles tendon to move more freely. For the men's version, there's not too much difference between the Ultra Boost 21 and 22. However, it's still brilliantly bouncy, with a good amount of energy return underfoot. The downside here is the weight. These are definitely one of the heavier shoes on this list, but unless you're really trying to make the podium, this isn't likely to bother most runners. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Brooks Catamount. It's not the cheapest trail shoe around, but the Brooks Catamount really is a game changer when it comes to the trail running shoe scene. Unlike traditional, stiffer trail shoes, the Catamount is cushioned, responsive and fast for runners who want to set PB on harder terrain. Brooks brought the Catamount to market in January 2020 when it announced the development of its DNA Flash Midsole Foam, which is infused with nitrogen for a lightweight feel with high energy return. It's reserved for their faster shoes, making it a bold and exciting choice for a trail shoe. Brooks has also added a ballistic rock shield between the midsole and outsole of the Catamount, designed to protect the foot from sharp rocks on the trail. While the outsole is great on loose gravel paths, and light mud on really technical terrain. The Catamount can get a little slippy, so hardcore trail runners might want to keep browsing. That said, for road to trail runs or races, the Catamount is fantastic. The number 8 position is held by New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 Velovin. While the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite V2 very nearly took the top spot when it comes to the best New Balance running shoes, the 1080 Velovin edged ahead due to its more affordable price and brilliant versatility for runners of all abilities. The neutral, cushioned running shoe is designed for road running but looks good enough to wear the gym and out to brunch, although be aware that this might shorten the life of your running shoes. It's a great choice for runners who prefer that plush underfoot cushioning in their running shoes, but it won't leave you feeling bogged down, as the fresh foam is extremely responsive. The sole of the shoe has a definite rocker feel to it, which helps for a smooth, speedier toe-off, but unlike other shoes on the market, the 1080 Velovin still feels remarkably secure around corners. With the 1080 Velovin, New Balance made some small, but significant improvements to the fit of the shoe, mainly around the upper, which is now more comfortable for runners with wider feet. It's worth noting here that New Balance often comes up small compared to other running shoe brands, so it's worth checking the size guide before buying online. Next at number 9 we have on Cloud Stratus. For some runners, on running shoes have always been a little too firm to be comfortable. Enter the Cloud Stratus, designed to offer runners maximum cushioning, but in on style. Forget thick wedges of foam, on has developed its Cloud Tech technology which is designed to cushion the foot from horizontal and vertical forces on the run and feel like running on clouds. With the Cloud Stratus, On has added two cloud layers for extra cushioning when running on the pavements. The shoe has a high energy return, which makes it popular with long-distance runners who want comfort and speed. This is the second generation of the Cloud Stratus, and it's more cushioned now that On has extended the double-layered midsole along the full length of the shoe. 
This running shoe won't be for everyone, but for runners looking for a speedy long-distance shoe, it's a great choice. The CloudTech technology makes the shoe well suited for heavy runners or those who prefer a cushioned running shoe. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Saucony Ride 14, another reliable running shoe. The Saucony Ride 14 is similar in feel and price to the Brooks Ghost 14. It's got a relatively hefty layer of Saucony's PWR on cushioning, a breathable mesh upper, and a tweaked fit to ensure it cradles the foot on the run. It's a comfortable, reliable workhorse that will get you from a to B comfortably, whatever speed you decide to travel. Compared to previous iterations of the shoe, the Ride 14 is a lighter, more breathable upper, which stops your feet from feeling too hot and sweaty as the temperature rises. It's also lighter than previous versions of the shoe, which is always a good thing. Sure, it's not the most exciting looking shoe on the planet, but if you're looking for a reliable shoe that offers a good amount of comfort on long runs and snap during faster sessions, the Ride 14 is a good choice. That's all for today. We upload fitness product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.